How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today I'm talking about Switchback Energy and ChargePoint and why I believe it is a 5x stock over the next five years. So I'm going to get all into it. I'm going to tell you about what I did because I ended up putting my money where my mouth is and buying some shares of Switchback and I'm really excited about it. So if you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. Also, if you want to support the channel in another way, you can check out the link down below to Weeble. You can deposit $100 and get three free stocks. Also, if you want to know exactly what I'm buying and what I'm selling, you can check out the link down below to my Patreon and you can join there. I tell everyone exactly what I'm buying. We can talk about stocks, all that good stuff. So Switchback Energy is merging with ChargePoint. So this was a SPAC merger. It's in at $16.44. Over the last month, you can see it's been a mixed bag, up and down. But there are some severe catalysts, some really interesting catalysts that I think will cause this stock to go up in value a lot. And I'm going to tell you exactly why I believe it's going to fly back. So I'm going to break down the numbers why I think that. So first of all, Joe Biden became president recently or he is supposedly going to become president. I don't want to get into politics here. But he touted his plan to create a network of 500,000 charging stations and is going to offer rebates to swap out older vehicles for newer, more fuel-efficient ones. So this is recently that he started talking about this, and this is going to lead into a lot of expansion in the EV market. Now, a lot of different companies are working on their different electric vehicles. We have GM that is planning on releasing 20 electric vehicles by 2023. We have Tesla, we have Neo, we have Hylion, we have Nikola, we have all the other traditional car manufacturers in there, and they're all vying to have the best EV out there. This can cause a lot of different competition, and one of the things that I've always thought about is the old story about who made money from the gold rush. It was not the people that struck gold. It was not the people that went out and tried to find gold. It was the people selling the axes and the shovels. So this is how you can think about this. Well, there's so much competition in that EV space, so many different huge manufacturers that are trying to become the next Tesla. They're trying to compete with Tesla. There's a lot of competition there, and one of the main winners that doesn't have a ton of competition right now are the charging stations. Right now, there are three major ones that I think about. There's ChargePoint, there's Tesla, and then there's Blink. So ChargePoint has the largest amount of charging stations right now, and unlike Tesla, Tesla's charging stations can only work with Tesla's. But Tesla vehicles can be charged with other stations. So you can use a charge point charger to charge a Tesla. So this offers an interesting, interesting investment opportunity. So this is ChargePoint's investor presentation. Right now, they are merging with SBE or switchback acquisition. And they're going to have an enterprise value not of $2.4 billion because this was a little while ago. It's going to be about $5 billion. Their value is about $5 billion with how much it costs right now. And their addressable market is going to be huge. So right now, EVs are projected to be 10% of vehicles sold in 2025 and 30% in 2030 in the US and Europe. So I just did a video yesterday actually on NEO expanding to Europe. And Denmark is looking at increasing their EV footprint. Other countries are doing the same. We want to increase this not just because... It's good for the environment, but it also saves money. I mean, those are kind of the two major things, right? If you can save money and be better for the environment. So this is a company that really does well. I mean, they do good and they do well, which I think is really important. It just makes sense, right? It's not like you have to compromise your morals to invest in them or to want them or to hire them. You can see here that their winning formula is hardware plus software plus services. So someone pays up front for the initial purchase of the charging stations. Then they also pay on a software as a service model. And then they also pay for their services too. And here is a beautiful chart. So it breaks down their hardware revenue, their software, and then their Assure revenue. So like their ongoing services. You can see that their first year, most of their money is from their hardware. And then as time goes on, it just becomes more and more 
about reoccurring revenue. 51% is upfront, so they get the initial cash infusion, but then they also get reoccurring revenue, which is awesome because a lot of companies don't get that. And here is a very impressive slide. Slide 20, you can see their customers. 3M, AAA, Dell, Fidelity, Facebook, MasterCard, Netflix. The list goes on and on. So it's kind of a who's who of their customers. And you can see the chart here. Each of these shows that once their big clients start using their products, they invest more and more. So you can see Fortune 50 company annual spend 1.5 million in year one moves up to 3.1. You can see their top 25 customers, same thing, $5 million in quarter one, three years later, $66 million. This is showing that they are a company that is gaining clients trust and clients are willing to invest more and more into their products. And then this is a very exciting slide. So scaling with EV penetration, they're expecting their 2026 forward revenue to be about $2 billion. Now, right now their market cap is around 5 billion. So if you project this forward and you actually think about what their price to sales ratio should be in 2026. So about five, six years down the line. If you compare it to some other companies in the tech space, let's look at Tesla sitting around about 14.6. So let's call it 15 apples around, let's call it 7.5 just to make the math easy. If you consider their $2 billion in revenue, and if you put them at a price to sales ratio of 7.5, just like Apple, right? So I would expect them to grow more than Apple when they're at that size because they're growing at about a 60% annual compounded growth rate. But if you compare them and say that they're gonna have a 7.5 price to sales ratio, you would be looking at about a $15 billion market cap. Now that would be a 3X from where it is now. If you compare it though to Tesla and say that they're gonna have a 15 price to sales ratio, they'll put them at a market cap of 30, which would mean that their stock price would 6X from where it is now. So I think that that would still be a little bit low because I think that they're gonna have a lot of reoccurring revenue. I think that a lot of people will be interested in them because they're growing so quickly. So even if they start to slowly taper off from their 60% growth rate, I think a lot of people will still be interested in buying them and will be pushing that price to sales up higher. So right now, SBE is losing money. They have been losing money on a year over year basis because they are expanding. But I think it's a really interesting company. I think it has a lot of growth potential and it just makes sense when you come down to it, right? You can go into the numbers as much as you want. I like looking at numbers. I also like looking at the big picture, but SBE just makes sense. And I know some people are worried that there's going to be a lot of competition, and there will be. But when you look at gas stations, there are gas stations on every corner, right? There are stops where you come up and there are gas stations literally on all four corners. I think that SBE will have competition, but they already have such a large network. And the growth is there. The president wants to increase the number of charging stations throughout the U.S., other companies need them to be increased because a lot of them don't really want to put in the capital injection to make their own charging stations. A lot of them don't want to have to deal with that. It's a whole different part of their business. It wouldn't really make sense for a lot of companies to do that. So I think Switchback is going to be one of the major winners over the next five years. And I realize that like a 5X return doesn't sound sexy, right? A lot of people don't think that that's great compared to the Teslas, which go up 10X in one year. But when you consider how big that is, when you consider a 5X return over five years, that's quite impressive. I mean, it usually takes 10 years for the S&P 500 to 2X. So that is very good comparatively, especially when you consider if you did that a couple times, if you're able to 5X over five years and then 5X again, that's 25X. That's a very significant amount. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about SBE and whether you are investing. I did pick up shares today and I picked up a bigger position than I usually do, at least on the initial buy. But if you guys want to know exactly what I bought, you can always join the Patreon. It is free. 
through the rest of the month until the first of next month. It's always free up until the first, I believe. So definitely, if you want to join, you can check it out. You can join. And then if you don't like it, you can stop in a couple weeks. Definitely check out this video that I did yesterday on Neo and them expanding to a different country and different continent. So definitely check that out if you are interested in EV. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And I will see you in this video right here.